Hi, my name is Hannah Linsky and I am an English education major, grades 5 through 12, here at Niagara University. Today we will be taking a closer look at Equinox 14R by Herbert Ach. Herbert Ach was born in Cologne, Germany in 1923. As a young boy, he studied painting under the watchful eye of expressionist Ludwig Minder, but later fled Nazi Germany for New York in the hope of a safer life. During World War II, at the age of 19, Ach enlisted in the U.S. Army. After the end of the war, he returned to New York and resumed his studies at the Brooklyn Museum Art School and later at the Escuela de Pintura y Esculturas in Mexico City. Perhaps one of the most influential experiences in Ach's career was his time working for the Art Crayon Company, which provided him access to a range of pigments and an opportunity to experiment with colors and shades that were not accessible to the general public. In 1974, he began a collection of work called Procession of Equinoxes, a series of 26 works that featured bright hues and pigments of his own creation. Sharp lines contrasting the various regions and circles in each painting, Equinox 14R is part of this collection. The design reminds me a bit of a vortex because the longer you look at it, it becomes smaller and smaller, almost pulling you in. The size of Equinox 14R stands out to me as well. It feels larger than the canvas it is on, maybe because of the rings of circles that get smaller and smaller, giving it a three-dimensional feel. Ach described his style and use of color as color expressionism, a way to express emotions, moods, and ideas through focusing on intense, non-naturalistic colors. Herbert Ach died from cancer at the age of 62 in 1985 and his work can be found in collections throughout the United States, from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City to right here at the Castellani Art Museum of Niagara University in western New York. Although Ach's artistic journey was cut short, his legacy lives on through his uniquely colorful paintings. We hope you enjoyed this New Perspectives video. Thanks for watching.